so I'm going to connect that. So, hi there. Today I'm actually trying out a new software synthesizer from GeForce. GeForce, GeForce. I never know how to pronounce G or J in English because I'm a French Canadian. Oui, je suis de Montréal, Canadien Français. So, um, J in French is G in English. So, GeForce. GeForce now has a new synthesizer out called Allogène FM. <laughs> It's a nice twist on FM synth. Let's just dive in right away. If you know FM, you know that it uses operators, carriers, and modulators. Now, how this one works is different, of course. It uses FM, but it has its own twist. So you've got what we call operators. So these are the sources of sound, the oscillators, if you want. But in FM, they're called operators. So we've got operator one and operator two. And when you play them, you see the metal combination out. Because it's only green, it's because in the mix, I'm only listening to the green, the first one, operator one. If I put the other side, I've got this one, I've got operator two. If I bring them together, so right away, you see a visual. It has a nice FM sound, of course. Now, the way it works, you've got, on each side, you've got a frequency for the oscillator, the operator, you have the ratio. So you can click here and change. Um, as you go under one, so a fifth, a third, a half, it becomes lower in pitch and more in harmonics comes in. And as you go higher, you're having a higher ratio. Now, it becomes more obvious. You also have a ring modulator. So I'm just listen to the first one. Now, the ring modulator is not fixed. It's following the key, so you've pressed fix. So it's perfect to create these metallic, weird, dissonant sounds. So that's for the ring. You get, here you've got control over the, this one, the, the, the way it sounds. So the timbre is basically adding more FM coming in. It's the amount of FM. You have distortion. The distortion is a bit of uh, the feedback, if you want. And bright is more about Again, it's about FM. It's not an, a filter. So you're controlling how bright it will be and how much FM synthesis you're using. So these are different controllers than what you find in normal synthesizer, but it goes with FM. So it's, it's you basically go with, you want this to be more So a nice way of controlling. Now, if you want to use uh, the envelopes, you've got two envelopes on each side. So modulation envelope, you can click here and change uh, the attack. You can have a very st steep like mod here and change the way it's going to work. So you can really control this. 
Okay, it can be following the keys or not. It can be repeated. So if you leave your finger or if you leave your mouse on a section, it will tell you what it is. So it's operator one, modulation envelope, repeat time. So you can have it repeat. Uh, so it becomes kind of an LFO on the modulation because that's what it is. It's a modulation. So if you want to have this modulated, I don't know, the, uh, the timber, then you have to bring this thing up. right away but what's interesting is you've got FM happening on operator one without listening to the second one so what I understand is that operator one has his own carrier and modulator that's what you have and what you're controlling here in the ratio is the interaction the ratio of differences between um, the carrier and the modulator so the carrier is the one that you hear the modulator is one that comes in as you bring timber up. I want it to be more busy. It's just... So that's for your one, which has its own sound by itself. If you listen to the second one, See, it doesn't have the same filter or timber type of sound. It's easy to make these really aggressive sound, and that's that's a cool part about their fan. And again, you can have the ring and a fix ring. Now, on top of that, you have aftertouch here, but you also have this orange one. You go, okay, what is the orange one? What's the source of that? Well, you click on plus and you've got an LFO here. So the LFO can also be assigned here, here, and here. So it's the same thing over there. So the LFO, as what we expect, it can be synced to, to the rate of the song and you have different shapes you can use and it can be also a noise generator. And under it, you have a reverb that can be used as also a, a chorus if I want. So let's say, let's say I put the, the depth. I don't hear it because FM here is at zero. have these very cold icy keys easily with this like any FM send would be doing and again I'm only using two right now I'm not using the first one and there's also a cross modulation if you see operator two here there's cross mod to mod modulate the first one if I bring it back but 
as I said, if we bring the density and to zero and the size to zero, get your normal sound. When you bring this, you have some type of chorus effect. So this is a reverb and a chorus, or yeah, that will say a chorus. Kind of a little wobbly between the two space, left and right. And you can also pan your two sounds. So you can go, one's gonna be on one side, one's gonna be the other one. So it could be interesting to create that with if you want. Now, tips are really cool here is you have these little stars. So if you click on this, what you have is a randomization of oper operator two. Do the same thing for one. And click here, it does for everybody. But it does it in a matter that it's still useful, you know. It's still something that sounds useful every time. So that's basically how the the Allergen FM synth work. Of course, you got tons of cool sounding presets. All of them, they're made to sound FM. Because why use FM to create a piano that sounds like a piano where you can have other things like samples to do it. So it's really about having these sounds that are made by FM modulation. This one, I add timely bass. I'm gonna go back into bass. I'm gonna have timely bass. So I'll go back to my little song playing. I add this. And I'm using the DMX. So that's it. That's Allergen FM from uh, GeForce. If you like it, check it out. If not, look for something else. Make more music and see you soon. Cheers.